Is it cuter backwards? With the with the braids? I can't tell. Is that cuter? Oh, that's a little bit cute. Welcome back to Ever Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Ever Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Xenon the Sequel. Xenon the Sequel is a 2001 Disney Channel original movie. It's directed by Manny Cotto, cinematography by Donald Duncan, editing by Terry Stokes, music by Phil Marshall, and it's written by Stuart Krieger. I've covered everybody except Donald Duncan in previous videos. They'll be listed in the link in the description. Donald Duncan is best known for Legend of the Seeker, Kiwi Christmas, Chronicles of Narnia, and the Snakeskin. The film stars Kirsten Storms, Shadia Simmons, Lauren Maltby, Susan Brady, Robert Kirk. Curtis Brown, Philip Reese, Holly Folger, Stuart Pankin, John Getz, and Thomas M. Wright. Kirsten Storms plays Xenon, Shadia Simmons plays Nebula, Lauren Maltby plays Margie, Holly F Folger plays Aunt Judy, and Stuart Pankin plays Commander Plank, and I've covered all of them in previous videos if you listen and linked in the description. Susan Brady plays Astrid Carr and is best known for Power Rangers Beast Morphers, Power Rangers Mystic Force, uh, Xena Warrior Princess, and Without a Paddle. Robert Curtis Brown plays Mark Carr and is best known for Station 19, Trading Places, CSI Vegas, and The Handmaid's Tale. Philip Reese plays Protozoa and is best known for Night Flyers, Doctor Who 24, and the Xenon series. John Getz plays The General and is best known for Zodiac, The Fly, Blood Simple, and The Social Network. Thomas M. Wright plays Orion and is best known for Acute Misfortune, Everest, Top of the Lake, and The Bridge. Let's get the elephant out of the room here. Shadia Simmons replacing Raven Simone as Nebula. Freaking yikes. And then I forgot, but Raven comes back to be Nebula on the third one. It's Robin Williams as the genie all over again. And it makes me really uncomfortable. Like, why wasn't Raven available to be Nebula? Why did they recast her? It makes me feel bad for Shadia Simmons. Because she comes in and gets to be Nebula and then leaves. It can't be Nebula again. Like, how sad. Just makes me uncomfortable and I feel really bad. That's over with. This movie is cute. The plots felt like they had nothing to do with each other, which made me, um, mad. Because, like, it felt very much like their station is being taken apart. Xenon's obsessed with an alien and it felt like they had nothing to do with each other even though like I knew that they were gonna be like intertwined and be important to each other but it just felt very like Xenon's convinced she's heard an alien and then like their station's being torn apart <laughs> so I didn't like that they felt so apart however like the film was good and I loved the alien meeting like I loved that. I loved the look of the alien ship. I loved how like they communicated with them. I just loved that it was like kind and beautiful and such an amazing first contact moment. Like that like warmed my soul to the very depths of it. That was amazing. Um, they say they had to study the stock market crash of 2006, which made me laugh because that's not technically far off from the crash in 2008. So um, that was really funny to me. Not funny funny, but like funny. Um, I really liked Protozoa's new song. I'm like kind of salty that they don't like Supernova Girl and this one aren't like popular. Because Supernova Girl, I mean, zoom, 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 classic. But this one was very good. I liked this one. Um, that's everything I have. I thought this was fun. I thought it was good. I definitely don't think it's better than the first one. However, I did like seeing like a more mature Kirsten. Um, I did like that. But I really, I like, the first one's plot just makes a lot more, like, sense. Like, driving sense. Where, like, this one is kind of like, these two things are happening and they're going to come together. But, like, this is very, like, weird and separate. And, like, protozoa has to do with it? Like, what is that? I don't Anyway, that's everything. Um, my final rating is six aliens out of ten. Our total movie count is... Parent Death and Cry Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You'll find out a movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I have a tier starting at just $1 and benefits do come with that. Lots of fun stuff going on over there all the time. Buy merch. You get this. LOL. LOL. Until next time, comment, like, and subscribe, but I'm not in charge of your life. You are, so you do. And don't, I'm, I mean, the general was kind of nasty, but like he came around. So I guess there isn't really, like, an actual... The, um, actually, the, like, not the general, but the other soldiers that were, like, looking for them. The intergalactic police or whatever that was. Don't be them. 
Zoom, 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 make my heart go. My supernova girl. I can't think of how the new one goes, and I think that's telling. What?